Hey guys, today's legal tip's kind of funny. Does Josh Altman really not present his offers? That's a big question. I'm sure it's on everyone's mind. Um, for y'all that don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about Million Dollar Listing LA. It's one of my favorite shows. It's uh, absolutely funny watching those two agents go at it, Josh Altman and Josh Flagg. Um, and I think most of us realize that the show is probably not very realistic when it comes to real estate. We're not going to have supermodels and sports cars and athletes and celebrities at open houses and spend $100,000 on an open house here in South Carolina. Um, but there are some things to be learned from the show when it comes to real estate. And the one thing I would say that everybody really needs to learn is that when Josh Altman gets a $10 million listing or an offer rather on one of his listings and he turns and says, I can't present that to my client, I'm not going to, um, then that's completely not what the law in South Carolina says. So what does the law say about presenting offers? Well, in South Carolina, you're talking about 40-57-350, which is the code for real estate agents. And what it says is that all offers you must present in a timely manner, all written uh, offers and counter offers. And so a couple of things you need to understand about that. Number one is you can't refuse to present an offer to a client because you don't like it. So if you get an offer you think is terrible, you can't say, I'm not presenting that. You must present all offers to your seller, whether you like the offer or not. Secondly, if your client says, don't bring me an offer less than 200 grand and an offer comes in at 150, guess what? You still got to present it. You don't get to say, well, my agent told me not to bring, or my client said not to bring it, so I'm not going to bring it. Your client can't tell you to break the law, and unfortunately, that's breaking the law. So you still got to present the offer to your client, regardless how crappy your client thinks the offer is. Thirdly, uh, you can't hold offers waiting for another offer. Even if you know another offer is coming, even if you're sitting there and an agent just called you and says, I got a better offer than the offer that I'm sure you just got, you can't hold the first offer until the second offer comes in. When you get the offer, you must timely present the offer. Now, what is timely present? It's not defined, but I think we all know it on, when we see it. You can't get an offer at, at the breakfast on, on Monday and wait till Friday to present it, hoping that some better offer comes in. But if you get an offer at noon and you're at lunch with another client, you don't have to stop your lunch meeting to go present the offer. You can present it once your uh, meeting's over with. Um, keep in mind, this also applies to written offers. It does not apply to oral offers because in South Carolina, all contract offers involving real estate have to be in writing. So what to learn from uh, LA uh, million dollar listing, present your offers. Don't care how bad you hate it or how much your clients told you not to. You got to present it and you got to do it timely. Don't wait, don't hold it. Present timely offers. If in that fact you have multiple offers, you're expecting multiple, multiple offers, you can present those offers and tell your client, hey, we've got multiple offers coming in. What do you want us to do? Do you want to respond now or do you want to tell me, tell the other agent we're expecting other offers? We're not going to respond at this time, but you got to go ahead and do that. So hopefully that will be uh, a good legal tip for you today. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hope you have a happy uh, and safe Labor Day. Take care.